Luna? Listen up. We're going to review the official rules of how to play the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's trading card game. Our friend watching at home is going to need to remember all these rules, so help out as much as you can. You bet. I'll do my best. First, I'll explain the victory conditions. That means how we win the game, right? That's right. In a duel, each player starts with 8,000 life points. Your life points go down when you're hit by a monster's attack. If you can get your opponent's life points to zero, you win the duel. That'll be easy with our awesome cards. Now let's go over how your turn works. Understanding this is really important if you want to win. In a duel, players take turns. During your turn, the things you can do happen in a specific order. These are called the six phases of your turn. Phases? That sounds complicated. <laughs> Don't worry. All you have to do is use your cards in the right phases. I'll explain the phases in order, so listen carefully. I'm all ears. We're listening, you say. In the draw phase, you draw one card from your deck. During the standby phase, nothing specific happens unless a card mentions the standby phase. If it does, follow those instructions now. During main phase one, you prepare for your battles and defense. You have lots of options here. Summon a monster from your hand. Change the battle position of a monster on the field. Set or activate spell cards. And set or activate trap cards. You can do a lot of things in the main phase. Leo, are you getting all of this? It seems more complicated than when I'm dueling. Don't worry. We'll take this slow. You'll get it all down. Thank goodness. Next is the battle phase. You can attack your opponent using monsters you control. I see. Battle, which means I attack. That's right, Leo. I'll explain the battle phase in detail later. I can't wait. Once you're done battling, next comes main phase two. It's just like main phase one. Since your opponent's turn is coming up, you should strengthen your defense. But remember, if you already summoned a monster during main phase one, you can't summon again during main phase two. In the end phase, you declare the end of your turn. So you just say, I end my turn or something. You got it. After you end your turn, it's your opponent's turn. So that's everything. The game continues using those six phases. Once you pass a phase, you can't go back to it that same turn. So Leo, let's talk more about what you can do during your main phase. There's two highlights that are really important. Summoning a monster and using spells and traps. Your cards with yellow or orange borders are monster cards. When you bring a monster card out onto the field, it's called a summon. Summoning monsters is one of the basics of dueling. You summon a monster so you can use it to attack your opponent. Plus defend against your opponent's attacks. Now, let's try it for real. Awesome! Let's see how it's done. Leo, would you keep it down? Come on, you two. The game's supposed to be fun. Sorry. Go on, you say. Choose the monster in your hand you want to summon. Then summon it in attack or defense position. Attack position monsters go face up. Monsters summoned in defense position go face down and sideways, so your opponent can't see what they are. Usually, you want to put monsters with high attack points in attack position and monsters with high defense points in defense position. One more thing, when summoning a monster, notice the number of stars under the monster's name. If a monster has five or more stars, it needs to be tribute summoned. Tribute summon means you have to send a monster from your side of the field to the graveyard before you can summon that big monster. For a monster with five or six stars, you must tribute one monster you control to summon it. For a monster with seven or more stars, you must tribute two monsters to summon it. So I can't summon a really powerful monster right away? That's right. Luna, do you also understand up to now? Yes, I'm fine. There are also other monsters that are summoned in special ways. As long as you meet the requirements, you can summon as many of these special monsters as you want during your main phase. If you can master using them, these are some very powerful monsters. 
My favorite special monsters are the white bordered synchro monsters. Synchro monsters are special summoned when you have a tuner monster plus one or more monsters that are not tuners. The combined levels of the tuner and the non tuners must be equal to the monster's level you want to synchro summon. Whoa, cool! So I can summon a monster like normal, then I can do a synchro summon that turn as long as I have the right monsters. My power tool dragon is a synchro monster! Ugh, oh, Leo, you're such a bragger. There are also purple bordered fusion monster cards and blue bordered ritual monster cards. So that's it for summoning monsters in the main phase. Next up... The battle phase! Hang on, Leo. You forgot about spells and traps. Cards with green borders are spell cards. You usually use these during your turn. You can even use them right from your hand. To use a spell card, you say the card's name and place the card from your hand onto the field. After you do what the card says, place that spell card in the graveyard. Spells are awesome! I want to try some! Me too! What do we do? I'll demonstrate how to use a spell card. First, select a spell card in your hand. Next, declare that you're activating it and place it on the field. Afterwards, resolve the effect. The used spell card is placed in the graveyard on the right side of the field. Spell cards can be used from your hand but you can also use them after you set them on the field. I understand. Cards with pink borders are trap cards. Trap cards are different from spell cards because you have to set them face down on the field before you can use them. Trap cards can be used even during your opponent's turn. Traps have won me a lot of duels, but you have to learn how to use them right. You can only use trap cards after you set them face down on the field and you can't use a trap the same turn it was set. But you can use it starting on your opponent's next turn. Just say the card's name and flip it face up. After you do what the card says, place it in your graveyard. Now then, let's use a trap card for real. First, declare that you are activating the trap card that is set on your side of the field. After the effect resolves, place the used trap card in the graveyard. Now we've come to the best part. It's the battle phase. This is what I've been waiting for. It's very exciting. If you know how to attack with your monsters, you'll be in good shape. To attack, just pick one of your monsters and declare an attack. The type of battle depends on the battle position of the monster you're attacking. There are two ways to resolve a battle. Two ways? Yeah. The first way happens when you attack your opponent's monster that's in attack position. The other is when you attack your opponent's monster in defense position. In defense position, a monster can be either face up or face down, but that doesn't affect damage calculation. Now I'll explain how to calculate damage both ways. Oh, calculations. Uh-oh, Leo's pretty bad at math. That's not true. It's just simple subtraction, Leo, so don't worry. I'm gonna explain, so stay with me. Okay. First way, attack position versus attack position. In this case, if your monster's attack points are more than the other monster's attack points, you win the battle. Destroy your opponent's monster and send it to the graveyard. Then reduce your opponent's life points by the difference in attack points between your monster and the opponent's monster. When your monster's attack points are equal to the other monster's attack points, it's a draw. Both monsters are destroyed and sent to the graveyard. There's no change to either player's life points. Are you okay so far? Piece of cake! I'm following okay. Alright, now for the second way. Attack position versus defense position. If your monster's attack points are more than the other monster's defense points, you win the battle. Destroy your opponent's monster and send it to the graveyard. There's no change to either player's life points. So you can't deal damage to your opponent's life points when you attack a monster in defense position. If your monster's attack points are equal to the other monster's defense points, it's a draw. Unlike the battle between two monsters in attack position, neither monster is destroyed in this case. 
What if my monster's attack points are less than the other monster's defense points? Does that mean the attack failed? Exactly! Neither monster is destroyed! But you take damage to your life points equal to the difference between your monster's attack points and the other monster's defense points. I got it, I got it. What if the opponent doesn't have any monsters? That's a good question, Luna. In that case, it's a direct attack on your opponent. Your opponent loses life points equal to the attacking monster's attack points. That's the end of explaining the basic rules. Do you both understand them? Perfectly. How about you, Leo? The amazing Leo will win hands down! Come on! Let's get this duel started already, you say? Okay, but I won't go easy on you. Leo, we're gonna start the duel now. Are you ready? Let's both use the same deck. We'll use this starter deck. If you get the chance, you should try Synchro Summoning. Go for it, Leo! All right, you say, let's get started already. Oops, before beginning a duel, we have to make sure to greet each other. I'm looking forward to our duel. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the duel too. First, we shuffle our own decks. Next, after we shuffle each other's decks, place your deck in the deck zone. Then, if you're using synchro monsters, place them in the extra deck zone. Next, we see who goes first by flipping a coin or with rock, paper, scissors. All right, one, two, three. Yes, I won. I decide to go first. We each draw five cards from our decks. The, the duel, duel is on. on! Leo, I'm rooting for you! My turn first! I draw! From my hand, I summon a monster in face-down defense position. Then I set two cards and end my turn. Your turn, you say? All right, my turn. I draw! From my hand, I summon Speed Warrior in attack position. Then I enter my battle phase. Due to Speed Warrior's effect, its attack points are doubled until the end of the battle phase. Speed Warrior, attack Leo's monster! The head move, you say. I activate my trap card, Widespread Ruin! Speed Warrior is destroyed! Great play, Leo. Smart move. I place one card face down in main phase two, then end my turn. You're off to a good start, Leo. I'm just getting started. First, I draw. Then, I flip summon Death Koala to activate its flip effect. Death Koala inflicts 400 damage for each card in Yusei's hand. Another good play, Leo. Now Yusei is down to 6,400 life points. All right. Next, I tribute Death Koala to tribute summon Saber Beetle and attack Yusei's life points directly. I activate a trap, Scrap Iron Scarecrow. The attack of your monster is negated. Plus, Scrap Iron Scarecrow's special effect says I can flip it face down again instead of sending it to the graveyard. So I can use it again next turn. Blast! I end my turn. Impressive as always, you say. My turn. I draw. Then from my hand, I activate the spell card Tribute to the Doom. I discard one card to destroy your Saber Beetle. Whoa! I can't let that happen. I activate my trap card Magic Drain in response. It negates the effect of your spell card and destroys it. You say your spell card is history. Nice. A counter trap. <laughs> you see? We're playing by my rules, you say. I'm not done yet. I summon Junk Synchron. Junk Synchron's effect lets me special summon a level 2 or lower monster from my graveyard. Come on back, Speed Warrior. Also, Quillbolt Hedgehog special summons itself from the graveyard by its own effect. I discarded it in order to activate my Tribute to the Doom spell card. And Quillbolt Hedgehog's effect allows me to special summon it from the graveyard if I control a tuner monster, like my Junk Synchron. Next, I activate an equip spell, Unstable Evolution, and equip it to my Quillbolt Hedgehog. While my life points are lower than my opponent's, the equipped monster's original attack becomes 2400. Now my Quillbolt Hedgehog's attack is 2400! What? This is all in one turn? And I'm not done yet. Now for a Synchro Summon! My level 3 Junk Synchron tunes up my level 2 Speed Warrior! That means I can get a level 5 Synchro Monster from my extra deck! I Synchro Summon Junk Warrior! Oh no! You say favorite Synchro Monster! Junk Warrior gains attack points equal to every level 2 and under monster I control, including Quillboat Hedgehog's 2400 attack points! Now my Junk Warrior attacks your Saber Beetle with 4700 attack points! Ah! My monster! Since I have more life points, Unstable level Evolution changes Quillbolt Hedgehog's attack to a thousand. I attack directly with Quillbolt Hedgehog. Ah! Oh, I knew it, you say. You're pretty tough to beat. Our duel isn't done yet, but have you mastered the basics, guys? Yep, all that's left to do is practice. You're right. 
I'll give it my best too. The stronger you get, the more fun dueling becomes. Do your best so you